This video is brought to you by buyptcgocodes.com. It's a great source to buy all your codes to play the Pokemon trading card game online. As you can see, they have a large variety of codes at reasonable prices, and they provide instant email delivery on purchase. If you make a purchase, if you use the code CABIGON5, you'll receive 5% off your order. Check them out and let them know I sent you. What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabigon here. I've got kind of a big amount of mystery packs for you today. So, as I mentioned in a previous video, didn't get any lucky bags. So, short of that, I was just like, I'm going to buy a bunch of mystery packs. So, I got 15 uh, 1,000 yen mystery packs. So, I couldn't get... A mis uh, lucky bag, like I said, so instead we're trying our luck with this. We got a lot, so 150 bucks in here. Um, hopefully we can <laughs> do all right out of this and recoup some of that, uh, not recoup some of that money, but get our money as it worth. So we got a lot of mystery packs here, basically. Now you'll see that two of these ones have a sticker on there. This means we got something good in here. So, I'm going to save them to last. We got two. So, hopefully, that means we can uh, get something super awesome. So, anyway, let's get into it. I'm pretty excited but nervous as to what could be in here because we invested a bit of money. But, hopefully, there's some good stuff. Let's see. All right. First one. So, this is kind of our New Year's extravaganza. Oh, that's pretty good. So... Like I said, no lucky bag, but this we'll have to do. Alright, what have we got in the first one? Ooh, alright, that's pretty good. If that's the kind of level we're looking at, I'm pretty happy with that. So we got the uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex. I do have this, I did buy it, but uh, that's not a bad double to get. We will definitely take that. Good start, strong start. I hope that there is a lot of... Uh, the VMAX Climax cards in there. That would be great. Still kind of only about halfway through the collection of the, the secret rares. So hopefully we can add a couple more to that today. Let's see. Okay, so we've just got some random commons in here. Spiritune. Okay, we've got a couple of trainer cards. That's cool. All right, and we have, oh. I don't have this. I'm sure I don't have this. God of War VMAX Hyper Rare. That's pretty cool. I was not expecting to see that sort of thing in here, but so far, I actually, I don't know how much this costs, but so far, I feel like it's pretty good value because this is probably like 10 bucks, maybe even more, depending on where you get it from. So even though that's not like a hit pack where we get something like crazy good, it's pretty good. It's pretty, you know, we're kind of getting our money's worth out of it. So I'm happy with that. All right. Number three. What have we got? We got psychic energy. All right. Are we just going to get a bunch of energies? I don't know what this means because we didn't get energies in the other ones. Oh, that's from uh, the start deck 100, a shiny one. All right. What have we got? Oh, I don't have you. Nice. We will definitely take that. It's Cricket Tune. I would. I, I really like this artwork actually. It's very cool. The, the tree especially like in the background it kind of looks like paintbrush strokes the texturing. It's really nice. All right, we will take that. That is one we don't have. It is on the cheaper scale. Um, as far as the cards from that set go but it's a pretty good one we'll take that all right and it's a playable card you know people actually use that card so all right Ooh, level ball hey that's all right worth a dollar or something all right what is this gonna be hey mu v max i never pulled this in all the fusion strike packs What's it called? Fusion Arts. Uh, packs I opened. No Mew VMAXs. I got lots of Mew Vs, but that's the first Mew VMAX I've ever got. So we will take it. That's pretty good. 
so far I'm quite happy. I feel like we're at least getting, you know, a pretty reasonable uh, pull out of there. So it's pretty good so far. All right, next one. So, just, yeah, a lot of bulk, as to be expected, I guess. Ooh, I don't have this. Professor's Research Hyper Rare. Not the biggest fan of the Hyper Rare trainer cards, um, but I do have the full art one of this already. So, ooh, it's got a, I don't know how well you can see that. It's got a bit of a mean ding in the corner there. Anyway, that's fine. We'll take that. That's pretty good. Um, we're going to have to start moving some stuff. I forgot that we actually have quite a lot today. All right. Next one. Ooh, this card looks a bit warped. All right. We're getting some energies again. These are all from the 25th anniversary collection, as you can tell from the giant 25 in the corner there. I wonder if they will ever become, like, collectible, maybe. All right. And... Hey, that's kind of an older one. Not super old, but this is from Dream League. Steelix character rare from Dream League. That's pretty cool. I do have the whole set of them anyway. But I do like me some character rares, so I will take that. The Steelix, very intense looking. <laughs> I do like that one a lot. I never can tell, is she like terrified or happy? She looks kind of scared. But, I mean, it's supposed to be the trainer and their Pokemon, right? So, I assume it's it's her Steelix. It's not just going to devour her or something. All right, we got an Arita Cramorant. Pretty cool. What else can we get in this one? Ooh, that's not bad. All right, Mareep. Ooh. Ah, Zamazenta. I do have a couple of these already, but... Uh, Nice gold card. I think I have every single version of Zamazenta. I just don't have the the original gold version of Zas. Oh, jeez. Sleeve just ripped. This card is razor sharp. What happened there? That was weird. All right. I've never had that before. A blowout. A sleeve blowout. As I put the card in there. Anyway, um... Yeah, I think I have every single version of Zacian and Zamazenta V. There's like crazy amount of special versions, except for the original gold Zacian. That's what I was going to say, which is from the sword base set. But it's quite expensive. It's like a hundred bucks. But I have every single other one. There's so many special versions of those cards. There's two gold ones. There's a shiny one. There's special art ones. There's, there's a lot. All right, we have... Bolton V. I just bought this. No. Oh, well. It's always going to happen, right? This is why, until recently, I I never really bought singles that much. Just because I was always like, I'll pull the card eventually. And uh, obviously, it makes much more financial sense to buy singles. But I was like, two of these ones I already bought and I've pulled them now. So it's kind of annoying. But it's not bad to have doubles of those cards, that's for sure, so I won't complain. All right, what have we got? Oops. Next one. <laughs> Orbital VMAX. I just bought this one as well. I think it was just in the last video I made, I bought two of these cards. Well, anyway, they're pretty cheap, so, you know, it's not a big deal. And like I said... Could be worse doubles to have those for sure. They're pretty cool looking cards. I do like this one a lot. All right. Um, I might just slide these over a little bit. Does that still fit on the screen? Yes. All right. Jeez, we still got a bunch more to go. It's a lot more than usual. All right. We got the energies. Energies. Ooh, Buizel. Mirror from the uh, Star Deck 100 as well. Oh, I don't have you. It's a single Strike Mustard. He's looking uh, pretty trim there. All right, we will take that. A card we don't have. Sometimes 
you know, with the amount of mystery packs I open and, and packs and stuff, just like you open a whole bunch and you're like, I have all of these already. <laughs> where's, where's a new card? So I, I always like a new card. That's always nice. All right. That is also from the, uh, start deck 100. It's kind of a very seemingly random collection of cards in here, but it's just the commons and stuff. So that will happen. Oh, okay. Genesect is quite good. We'll take that. All right, get in the sleeve, Genesect. So, yeah, I mean, if I'm honest, like, basically every card we've got so far is, like, in the 5 to $15 price range. So that's pretty good return, honestly, I feel like, on Mystery Packs. Some of these ones, even though they're a 1,000 yen, you just get, like, a random V, which is, like, worth nothing, and you think, hmm, okay. I, like, this Genesect is worth, like, 10 bucks, so... You know, that's that's a that's a nice return. Although, you know, usually you'd be like, oh, I want a SR or whatever. That Genesect is definitely worth more than quite a few of these other cards, so... Ooh! It's a, uh, a fluffy character rare. Again, I have this, because I have the whole set of the character rares, but that is one of the... Uh, better ones to get. I think it's the most expensive one because people want this like Dynamota ability one with a nice artwork on it. So that is a good one. We'll take that. I'm just noticing I never really look closely. They're looking into, I should actually hold the card up so you can see what I'm talking about. I didn't even notice that they're looking into the mirror. It's the same. <laughs> they're right there. I didn't even notice that. That's quite funny. The closer you look at it, even though, I mean, it's fairly obvious, but I, I clearly wasn't looking very closely. All right, what do we got in this one? Fire energy. Water energy. Lightning energy. Oh, we got a uh, Greninja V from the Start Deck 100. The non-shiny one. I don't have that. But this seems to be our good card. Zamazenta V. This is another one that I did buy, but it, it's a reasonably cheap one. Five-ish bucks. I'm noticing lots of the cards have the same ding, like, right there, in the same exact spot. It's kind of weird. I don't know if anyone's trying to grade these cards yet, but if they're kind of uh, harsh on the grading, you're going to have some trouble getting some good grades on some of these cards. I don't know. They're still probably pretty good in comparison to some other countries' print runs, but I don't know. I feel like it's... The quality is getting worse, which is kind of disappointing. But anyway, all right, we have our two good cards. Let's move this other stuff out of the way a bit so we have some space to put them down here. All right, so this osus osusume means, like, recommendation. So these are, like, good ones, recommended cards. All right, we've got a water energy. Does that tell us any clue? I don't know. Ooh, ooh. All right, that is a good one to get. I did buy this card, but Mimikyu VMAX with Acerola on there. Such a nice looking card. I will take a double of this for sure. Pretty expensive, like 40 to 50 bucks. So that is a very nice one to get. I just love Mimikyu's face. I mean, it never changes, I guess, but it's just like got those dead eyes. <laughs> I love it, just staring. That is a great looking card. All right, we will take that for sure. Very nice. All right, that is a good one for our first recommended top hit special card. All right, last one. Let's go. What do we got? Lighting energy. The other one didn't give us any clue, so I don't know what that means. Oh, yes. Yes. All right. That is a good one. All right, Pikachu VMAX, look at that big, chunky boy. With red there, just chilling in front of him, looking pretty cool. That is a nice card. I am super happy to get that. All right, that is a new one that we definitely don't have. And this one is mm, like 50 to 60 bucks, depending where you get it from. So those two good pulls that we got were both very good i feel like we did pretty good i think we definitely got our money's worth can we just 
slightly move everything over so it's in the middle. There we go. Yeah, I feel like we definitely got our money's worth. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it was a, a good investment? Um, yeah, so that's kind of my replacement for a lucky bag for this year. So apologies that we didn't get that. But I do have the Pokemon Center lucky box coming that I did win in the lottery. So that's like pretty jammed pack with stuff. So I think it comes around the end of January, they're saying. So stick around for that. That should be pretty good. But anyway, let me know what you think of this opening, guys. Uh, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Take it easy.